Hey you guys, this is the Bardo 11 here, and today I'm going to be uh, overviewing and uh, reviewing some of my rumors and predictions of the new iPod Touch 5th generation that will come out next year, I believe. Okay, my top three things that I think are uh, most likely to be in the new iPod Touch. One, the A5 dual core processor. I know you guys are going to say, well no, they're, of course they're going to. It's just still prediction, I'm going to put it in here, you all know, forget about that stuff. Okay, here's my reason why. It's been in, it's in the iPhone now, it's in the iPad now. Why would they not put it in the iPod Touch? It just wouldn't make any sense. So that's one thing I'm pretty sure they will do. Number two, better camera. Um, the flash, not so much, I'm not too, uh... I'm not too, uh, I, I'm not, I don't know if they're going to put a flash on the thing, but if they do put a flash on the camera, I would be pretty happy about it. It would be pretty sick. So, um, the better camera, I'm saying about a 4 or 5 megapixel. This is like a 1 megapixel in the front side, I don't know what it is. But, um, it's probably going to make it a higher uh, resolution camera, obviously. Probably. And, um, on the front camera, probably make that one better, too. Because at that time, they're going to be releasing the new, um, iPhone, so yeah. Okay, um, hmm, third, Siri. They put it on the iPhone, it doesn't make sense to not put it on the iPad and the iPod. iPad and iPod, you know, why wouldn't they? It would be helpful and it would improve it a lot and they'd get a lot more sales for that. And they could probably improve Siri a little bit and get some tweaks in there, stuff like that. A number four, this is not in my most, uh, thing that I think that I'll do, but, um, I'm thinking of a little different design. Now, maybe a bigger screen, like they were saying they were going to do on the iPhone. iPad with the bigger screen wouldn't really make any sense, I mean, you know how big the screen is on that one. Maybe they will for readers. Could help a lot. So I'm predicting, like, a better care, or, uh, better, bigger screen. And, um, hmm. I'm not so much thinking about the the display and the, not the display, but, um, like the, the design of it. I think the design's going to stay old-fashioned in Fark. Now, number six, five, you're five. Um, some prediction that, uh, and the rumor stuff, which I don't think is true anymore, is the little, uh, touch button. Instead of the clicking button, it's just like that. I think that one's gone. I think that one's gone. Now, um, another thing I'd like to have on there, I don't know. I'd like to have, um, a new design. Like, sure, like the iPhone, but thinner. Like, people really care about thickness for some reason. I don't really care about the thickness. I mean, I can understand with the phone, because the iPhone's already, like, it's not thick, but it's like, uh, you know what I mean? But with the iPod, it's so thin, it wouldn't even matter, and I don't think they're going to do that. It'd be cool, though. Um, hmm. They can put two speakers on the bottom with the headphone jack on the top, like the iPad and the iPhone, but they haven't done that yet. Maybe change the buttons on the side like they did with the iPhone. Maybe have a mute switch on the side. There's a lot of stuff they can do. Also, on the back of the iPod, with that little scratchy, scratchy, uh, metallic thingy, whatever, uh, everyone hates that. De um, I hope they change that. Sorry about that. So sorry about that. Anyways, so um, I'm thinking about that. I'm changing the back cover. Like you know how they do with the iPhone with the black back and the black front, the white front, the white front, the white front and the white back. They could do that. I think that would be a little better. Um, maybe put a glass back, but then. Yeah, we all know that how that easy that breaks, so they're probably going to change that in the new iPhone. Because we all know that you can drop it from like here and it'll shatter, which is not always good with clumsy people. And that's uh, auto boxes are a perfect example of saving your phone and saving money to buy a new one. And your warranty and all that stuff, so yeah, that's... I wouldn't recommend getting a glass back on the iPod, like it looks cool. No, it looks cool on the iPhone, I know, I know. But... It's not the most protective, and yeah. I'm thinking, hmm. Uh, 
Hmm. Better speakers. There's not that many things like uh, you can pose on the iPod. I'll see you guys later. This prediction is a little long and all, but um, I'll see you guys later.